Hi everyone, it's a damp, cool Monday. So let's see if I can't finish getting the car together and getting it running. There is a few extra things I'm gonna add. When I had it tore apart, I noticed that was a crack in some of the vacuum hoses. So I'm gonna replace all them. And this little bracket right here, this little part right here was broken. So I, I went to the shop to get another piece. It wasn't exact, but it's close enough I can adapt it to work. Okay, it's 3.15, everything is put back together, and now the most important test of all. It's time to re hook up the battery. I'm just going to do it just for a temporary connection, and most importantly, I got the key, and let's see if it'll crank. Okay, it cranked. No check engine lights or anything on. Let me close the door. Disconnect the, br the brake. Of course, I don't have a seatbelt on. Right now, everything looks all right. Now, I'm going to close the hood and see if it actually will move. It runs and it drives. Now, all I need to do is go in the house, get my driver's license. I can put that on the highway, see how it does at highway speed. But at least for right now, it looks like my do-it-yourself repair was a success. Well, as of right now, it looks like part one of my do-it-yourself car repair was a su success. And part one, that means there's a part two. This part right here, I've noticed there's a little oil leak right under here. So that would be my second project. But I'm going to wait a month or two before I do that. I'm just going to settle down, make sure my car is still running well before I jump on part two. But thank you for following me on this photographic journey photographic car repair journey. Oh, there's almost one thing I forgot to add. When you're working on your car, you might want to wear, you know, gloves to keep the grease and stuff off your hands. But remember when we was all young kids and we didn't mind getting our hands dirty, that was part of the fun of doing things. Well, I still have a lot of little kid in me, so I don't mind getting my hands dirty. But don't worry, what time I wash them up, they'll be just as beautiful and as pretty as ever. See, just like I said, a little soap, a little water, and they're clean and beautiful as ever.